Let's talk about perimeter. It's spelled P-E-R-I-M-E-T-E-R. -E -E perimeter. And you see the word meter in it, so you know it's got something to do with measurement. Perimeter is the distance around an object. So you go all the way around the object, you see how far you went, and that's the perimeter. Now, I've got a guest here, I've got a kitty cat. Meow. And the kitty cat's going to go all the way around this object. But before we do that, let's read the question. It says, if each square on the grid represents one centimeter, what is the perimeter of this square? So we're going to go all around this square, and we're going to see how far we went. So if the kitty cat starts over here, and it crosses three squares, that means it went three centimeters. So let's write three centimeters in. That's how far the kitty cat went. So I'll put the kitty cat here. We're going to go meow. It's going to go meow, meow, meow. Three blocks. We'll put him right here. But then he has to go all the way down. Before that, let's put a starting point. The kitty cat started here, just so we know where he's got to end up on. So we're going to go down now. He's going to go meow, meow, meow. That's three blocks. So that's another three centimeters. And then he's going to go three to the left. He's going to go meow, meow, meow. We'll put a three. And then he's going to have to go back to the top. So he's going to go one, two, meow. And he ends up where he started, three centimeters. And we want to find out how far he went. So he went three centimeters plus three centimeters plus another three plus another three. So three and three is six and another three is nine and another three is 12 centimeters. And that's the perimeter of that shape. We've got our kitty cat back in question two. If each square on the grid represents one meter, let's underline that, that's important. We got one meter for each square, so it's not a centimeter anymore. It's going to be a meter now. What is the perimeter perimeter of this shape? So we'll pick a starting point for our kitty cat. Let's start him over here. Kitty cat's going to start here. He's going to go meow, 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 meow. He's going to go four blocks. So I'm going to write a four, but it's meters this time. Then he's going to have to go down. So I'm going to write one centimeter. And then he has to go across. He has to go down first and go meow. And then he's going to go across one, meow, and then he ends up inside. Let's take him out. So he's going to go across. Then he's going to have to go up, and then he's going to go across. So it's only one block there. Then he's going to have to go down one, two, three, four blocks down. So, oh, but I made a mistake here. I wrote, it should be meters, not centimeters. So these are all ones. And uh, here, let's erase that. Let's make it cleaner. I'll just write ones instead of the units. One, 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 one. Now here it's going to be four meters. Then he, when he gets to here, he's going to have to cross this path. He has to go one, two, three, four, five, six meters. And then up again, he's going to have to go one, two, three, four again. He's going to have to go four meters up. And the perimeter is going to be when you add up all these numbers. I'm going to use an adding strategy. I'm going to say, I'm going to color code this. I'm going to go, okay, six and four. I know that's a 10. And you should too because, hey, that's how we roll. We use strategies that we learned in the other units to get the answers for this unit. And we know 6 and 4 makes 10 without counting on our fingers. We also know doubles. 4 and 4 is 8. So I'm going to write 8. I'm going to plus them. And I know 1, 1, 1, 1 is also 4. So I'm going to go 4 meters. I'm going to put an M just so I know they're meters. And I think I've used up all the numbers. So now I just add them up. 10 plus 8 is 18 and 4 more is 22. And that's my perimeter. That's it. Now it's your turn. You think you could do it? I think you can do it. Let's underline key information. If each square on the grid represents one centimeter, so all these squares are one centimeter wide, what is the sum, sum means plus, of the perimeters? Perimeter is, we know what perimeter is, is the distance all the way around the object of the shapes below. So what it's asking us to do is to get the perimeter of this shape and then get the perimeter of this shape and then find the sum of the shapes below. Find the sum of the perimeters. I know it's asking for a lot and it's kind of confusing when you read it all, but read it carefully and you'll see what I mean. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's say the kitty cat starts right here. Kitty cat's going to go two blocks. It's going to go two first. Then he's going to go down four. It's going to go four centimeters down. Then he's going to go, go, go across three, up three, across one, and up one. Don't forget that little one up here and this one here. Let's use strategies to do this. We know 3 and 3 is 6. That's doubles. Oh, and 4 more is 10. Could just write 10. 
And then we've got 2, 1, 1 is 4. We add them together, we have 14. Double check it. That's the perimeter for this one. Now let's get the perimeter for that one. So let's say the cat starts here. He's going to have to go across one, down two, across one, up two, across one, down four. Then he's going to have to go left one, up one, left one. A lot of, he's going to be dizzy after this. He's going to be puking everywhere. He's going to go down one, left one, up four. Yeah, you don't want to see kitty cat puking. Now let's, let's add these all together. Let's see if we can use a strategy. Look at that, doubles. We've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, let's scratch them off, 14, 15, 16, those are easy to count, 16, and 4 more, look at that, 4 more, we know 16 plus 4 is 20, now let's see what happens, we got 20 centimeters as our perimeter, let's click for the final answer, because we're not done yet. No, 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 we're not done yet because look what the question's asking. It's asking us the sum of the perimeters of the shapes. We've got to add these sums. We've got to sum these together. So 0 plus 4, 2 plus 1, and it's centimeters, and that's the answer. This is what we're looking for. Try this one. Which of the following shapes has a perimeter that is greater than 8, greater than 8, but less than 13? less than 13. Go ahead, try it, and then come back and check your answer. Here's what you should have done. We're going to get the perimeter of this one first, so let's start over here. We're going to go across three. We're going to go down three, left one, up one, across one, down one, left one, and then up three. Add these up. Let's see if we can uh, find a strategy for this. We've got three and three. That's doubles. That's six. 3 more is 9, 3, 6, 9, and then just count by 1s, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 centimeters. I hope that's right. It is. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. Put the cat here to start, and then we're going to go across 4, down 2, left 2, up 1, left 2, and then up 1 over here. And if we add these up, we're going to get 2, 4, 6, 6 and 4 is 10, yep, 11, 12. 12 centimeters. Now what is it asking us? What's the, what's the real answer? It's asking us between shape A and shape B. Which one has a perimeter greater than 8? Okay, is this greater than 8? Yeah. Is this greater than 8? Of course it is. They both are. But it's got to be less than 13 as well. This is the only one that's less than 13, so it's going to have to be shape B. And we're down to the last question. How much shorter is the perimeter of the smaller hexagon? I'm going to give you a clue on this one before you start on your own. It's an ER word. How much shorter? How much shorter? Go ahead and try it. All right, here's what we should have done. Perimeter of this. Oh, I don't know what. They only give me one side, Mr. Mom. How do I get all the other ones? That's easy. Look, if that's four, these are all the same length, right? So you're going to have to go four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. And that's going to make 24 if you add them up. And this one's going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 12 centimeters. And then you should have realized that the ER word means takeaway. That's subtraction. So we're going to have to subtract these two numbers. Big number on top, smaller number on the bottom, you get 12. So we know now that the smaller hexagon is 12 centimeters shorter than the longer hexagon. 